very good morning to all the children once again so let's continue with the discussion of question answer we were discussing uh, this poem on killing a tree simply completely yes last yes may pay attention so question number third but tree uh, what is the meaning of leading path what makes it lead yes What makes a tree bleed? Yes, when we cut it, when we yes, when we hack it, when we chop it, when we uh, blow with the an axe, axe so that axe to hack it, to hack it, it is a kind of murder only, right? So firstly, I'll mention bleeding bark means cutting the trees mercilessly. Uh, cutting the branches of the tree mercilessly or twigs also. Twigs are also so. You will be writing bleeding bark means the twigs which are cut mercilessly. Twigs which are cut mercilessly. Without any and let me complete Bida. and if any part of the human uh, body is cut it starts bleeding similarly when we cut the tree we are actually hurting it we are hurting the whole environment by cutting it. So that's why poet has compared the cutting of the tree with the bleeding bark soon. Clear? Yes, now you add on what you wanted to say. No, it's not exactly that poet coming all across. But lady park is just poet is using this phrase to show that the way human beings need up to be cut. Similarly, we are hurting the tree. In that way, you say, you need not write two words. So, yes, uh, next question is the poet says, No, in the beginning of the third stanza, what does he mean by this? Yes, raise your hands. Or it's not enough. Yes, Vidya. We go at last. We didn't know this. Yes, that is. Go at last. So, uh, sit down. Very good. She has already mentioned. The poet says, no, in the beginning of the third stanza, to emphasize the perspective that chopping or hacking is not sufficient to kill a tree. Right? Actually, the poet is trying to evoke the most of the human being. So, you need to mention that the poet uses no to emphasize right, the perspective that chopping and hacking will not be sufficient to kill a tree. It has to be uprooted from the earth, from the ground. And even after that, it takes a longer process. Yeah. Next is, what is the meaning of anchoring earth and earth cave? Very important. Anchoring earth and earth cave. We will explain. One person can talk about anchoring earth, the other can talk about earth cave. Yes, no answer. Anchoring earth. Anchoring earth. Anchoring earth. Yes. Sit down with me. 
its strength is exposed. This is what word wants to say here. Yeah, and they're not asking about support system with that. They're asking ex exposed. How do you get to know about the strength of the tree? When it is uprooted from the ground, and then you see it was visible only this part. It has longer the part inside our roots. So its strength is exposed to all of us. Yes, yes, you can write anything and just discussing the common point. Okay, you can add up on your own. What finally kills the tree? Yes, we are. Everyone. Decide. Still, there are wait, wait. Let let's wait for these students to keep quiet. She is speaking the answer for me because I do not know any answer. When it will not be discussed, you will say, "Ma'am, I have a question." Right? Because that is very particular. And when it is being discussed, then you do not listen. As a body, you say, "First, just to sit and talk." Have you written anything, Anji? I will tell you what's the time. Go at last. Jare baagi ho jao. Uske jaga do jare baagi. Go at last. Take a notebook. Go at last. Jaldi. Again, you're sitting with your friends. Yes, but I'm going to. Mentioned already in the book, page number, last page I get uh, on the last page only we have mentioned one 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 clear. Yeah. So yes, pulling out. You firstly you will say that cutting a tree is not equivalent to killing the tree. Right, cutting a tree is not similar to Killing the tree, right? Pulling out the tree from the mother earth, right? These are the steps. You will not write one to three, but you will be writing in paragraph only. So pulling out the tree from the mother earth, scorching and chopping it in the sun and air, right? These words are mentioned, beta, on page triple one on your book itself. Last stanza. Scorching and chopping it in the sun and air will finally kill the tree. So then it becomes brown, dry, and gets hard. Eventually, it dies. Same thing as decay. Yes, decay and drying. But you have to mention. Beta, you have to mention all these steps firstly. That cutting a tree is not equivalent to killing a tree. Clear? Then. You will mention that when we uproot a tree out of the ground, after that also the process is not over. Then hardening of it or in the scorching heat takes place and finally it dies. It's on death. Clear? Next is stanza based questions right on the book itself. First answer from it takes to sprouting leaves the first answer. First question always I say name the poem and the poet. First answer the first question name the poem and the poet. But if you write down, keep noting down on rough note book. I'm not making you write down that is your work. We are going to write questions only. We will discuss answers also. In which there is a need. Name the poem and the poem. Now, if anybody is going to write name equal to, Rajesh, have you given a notebook for checking? When? Let's see. That's why you're talking continuously. 
नेम इज इक्वल टू पोएट इज इक्वल टू नो आई विल पुट अ क्रॉस इन नो द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज इनवर्टेड फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल फिलिंग अ थ्री एंड द पोएट इज इनवर्टेड फ्रॉम अ में ई पटेल जी कैपिटल पी कैपिटल एंड नंबर ऑफ साइंस आर जो सेकंड क्वेश्चन How much time does it take to kill a tree? How much time? Second question, first question. Are we making it like three questions or four questions for something? How much time does it take to kill a tree? Yes, you tell me the answer. How much time does it take to kill a tree? But only first time you will be writing. Yes, you will mention single jab of knife cannot cut or uh, cannot kill a tree. It takes a longer process to kill it. Okay. Two lines answer. But it is mentioned in the poem. Not in the poem. Open the book and see first answer. A single jab of knife cannot cut a tree. It takes a longer process. Then, third question. Give the meaning of lapras hide. Give the meaning of lapras hide. What is the meaning of lapras hide? Discolored bar. Discolored bar. Right answer. Fine. Second stanza. First question. Second stanza. But I don't ask questions. So many questions. They are not able to complete it. These three details are there now. Let me complete the point. Second stanza. First question. Which poetic device is used? I am saying second stanza. First question. Which poetic device is used in this stanza? Give example. Give example. Just let it write. Which poetic device is used in this stanza? And give example. You will be writing. Alliteration is used in this stanza. Example is. Can it quickly write? See the spelling, brother. Then you write wrong spelling. A L L I T E R A T I O. Next is. Will hacking and chopping. Will hacking and chopping kill a grown-up tree? Easily, will hacking and chopping kill a grown-up tree easily? Yes. No. Yes. Correct answer. Hacking and chopping same. It means cutting only. So no. Hacking and chopping will not kill a tree easily. The bleeding bark will heal in time. The process of cutting the tree is quite tedious. The bleeding bark will heal in time. It is a quite process. It's a tedious process. Tedious task. T e d i o u s. Tedious means difficult. And writing is very difficult. It is very difficult. Mm -hmm. 
anything but i can try and have again you take care of them and i hope yes but you have to write these question answers in fair notebook which ever we have discussed today and yesterday also third question is how will the tree how will the tree grow to its former size how will the tree grow to its former f o r m r former size again very easy very easy yes clear so uh, right answer uh, the tree will regain its strength from the ground the tree will regain its strength from the ground Fine. Uh, twigs will rise again. Twigs will rise again if remain unchecked by us, and then it will grow to its former size. Twigs will rise out of the ground if remain unchecked. Then third stanza, first question. Again, which poetic device is which literary device? One and same thing. Stanza three, first question. Which poetic device is used in this stanza? Preposition and alliteration. Which poetic device is used in this stanza? Give example. I am saying you will write the form of paragraph. You will mention that alliteration is used in this stanza. For example, white and red, right? You will change the paragraph. Repetition is also used. You will underline repetition and alliteration. Okay? Repetition is also used in the same stanza. For example, pulled out. Yes, you can mention that also. Yeah, metaphor. What is the example of metaphor here? Earth cave. Find metaphor. Example of metaphor is earth cave. Three. Yes, beta. Metaphor is also used. Metaphor is also used in the same stanza. For example, earth cave. So this stanza carries three literary words. Okay. Second question. How many will get up? How can the root be pulled out? How can the root be? How can the root be pulled out? Yes, yes, you can talk to me. You're calling it. Ah, you can or a way way to get. Have manners. Yes, class. It has to be snapped out from the crust of the earth, uprooted from the earth. That is the same answer again. Yes, by tying it with the rope, it has to be snapped out. Clear? It has to be tied with a rope and has to be snapped out. Very good. Next is last and the two is a very few ways. So last question of this stanza: Give the meaning of twisting and withering. Give the meaning of twisting and withering. Is it echo spelling? सामने बुक है आपके twisting and withering w i t h e r i n g twisting means turning withering is yes to become so weak to wither means to become so weak yes Yeah. 
बेटा जो थर्ड सैंडा है दैट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम नो द रूट एंड इट इज डन तक क्लियर 